Good evening, Gateway Church. How you doing? Why don't you stand up tonight? Welcome to Night of Worship. We're so glad everyone here in the room, everyone joining us online. We're glad that you're with us. We believe it's gonna be an amazing night in his presence. I love worship. I love lifting our voice to, to God and allowing his presence to come. I love that he promises that when we draw near to him, he draws near to us. I love that he promises that when we gather together, he's in our midst, his power comes, his power flows. And so we're going to have a great time in his presence. I do want to point out you had a, a little sheet of paper in your seat. It's not trash. Um, we're going to uh, have an awesome time later where uh, Pastor Zach is going to lead us in an activation. So you want to hold on to that. You will need it a little later. Um, but let's just open up our hands, if you would, just in the posture of surrendering. You know, worship is more than our songs. Worship is about us yielding our lives to the Lord. It's a living sacrifice is our act of worship. And so just with your arms raised, just let's surrender everything to Him tonight. Let's put our full attention and our affection upon Him. Let's lay down the things of this week. Let's lay down your concerns. Jesus, in this moment, we look to You. We thank You for Your presence. We thank you for your promise that when we come together and gather in your name, you are in our midst. And when you show up, things change. And we're excited about that tonight. We love you, we worship you. Come on, let's have fun. Are you ready to worship? Come on. There's an echoing in the spirit. If you listen closely, you'll hear what a sound is broken shackles in the floor There's a symphony in the making There is freedom here for the taking Oh, what a sound is broken people are restored Oh, what a sound Let your praise be loud Here in your house Let your joy break out As our voices fill the room Do what only you can do Here in your house Come on, shout it out We're gonna worship you
say, welcome to the secret place. Welcome. We're glad that you made it tonight. We're glad that you came. The weather's changing. It's cold out there. I'm up here in a t-shirt. It feels weird. I feel like I should have some more clothes on. Lord, cover me. Thank you, Lord. Hey, as we start this, uh, this night, um, we just feel like it's direction from the Lord that he's spoken in this season that these nights of worship, these specific special nights are secret places that anything can happen in this secret place and so you're here tonight uh, I was thinking about the verse earlier um, that we make plans and the Lord directs our steps a lot of times we talk about that in the big grand decision making that we have in our lives you know it's like okay where am I supposed to live where am I supposed to work? Who am I supposed to marry? What school am I supposed to go to? What job am I supposed to take? You know, all those types of things. And of course, God speaks and he leads in those places. Do you also know, are you aware that God leads us in the small things too? In that little inkling, you know, of a spouse looking at the other spouse and saying, you wanna go to that worship night tonight? And the other spouse going, I mean, I guess we could. <laughs> I believe the Holy Spirit is in that invitation. There's an invitation in front of us to meet with God in the secret place. So we started high, and we're going to go back to that energy in a moment. But before we get to that again, I just wanted to formally welcome you, to let you know that you're here on purpose. And I want to ask you, challenge you at the beginning of this night to raise your level of expectancy. Whatever you feel like God might do, times 100, okay? Let's have faith that moves mountains tonight. Let's have faith that sees God move in our lives tonight. Let's go back a few years and remember how faithful God's been. How faithful he was, how faithful he is. Lord, we worship you in this place. We give you all the praise and all the glory, all the honor. Lord, we thank you that you are enthroned on our praise tonight. And so as we worship you, Lord, as we lift your name on high, we ask that you would be pleased, Lord, in the sound that rises from this house tonight. Be pleased, Lord, in the sound that rises from South Lake, Texas tonight. Be pleased, Lord, for those joining online in their homes, from, from the sound that rises up from their living rooms, from this living room to their living rooms. Lord, whatever we do tonight, may we worship you in spirit and in truth. And remember how good you've been. And may it give us faith for the future. In Jesus' name, everybody said, amen. You ready to go back a few years? Okay, I love this one. It says, you are mine, you are mine for love.
Zach, it's your turn. I was like, no, man, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on a second.
know sometimes we need to dance. To dance before the Lord is forgetting about yourself for a moment and remembering that He is worthy of all of our praise. And He is worthy of more than we could ever give. But I believe that there's freedom when we begin to expect Him to move in our lives and begin to celebrate the work that He has done and the work that He will do. And so church, I wanna encourage you today. The line in that song that says, we'll dance upon injustice. We are seeing so much injustice in our world. And the church has a responsibility to be light in the darkness, to be joy in the sadness to raise a standard to say that Jesus reigns and that we will dance upon injustice. We will stand in the face of sickness. We will stand in the face of whatever comes at us and say, Jesus is Lord. And so you may have been here a few weeks ago when Martin Smith from Delirious was here, but he had all of his hold hands. You remember that? Would you mind just taking the hand of the person next to you across the aisles? Just say we are unified. We're gonna sing this out again and we're just gonna dance before the Lord to give Him all we've got. Just sing praise to His name. Oh, sing.
We say it at Christmas and we say it tonight. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah, Lord. From the ashes rise a people that sings hallelujah to the Lord God Almighty. Lord, would you shift our perspective, make it more eternal. Help us to see things the way you see them. As we say that little word, our perspective shifts and we start to see you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, church, let's sing that one more time. Sing hallelujah. 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 One more time. It's beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. you Lord thank you for that sweet presence in this room Holy Spirit you're welcome I feel you right now opening up hearts that have been hard knocking on the door inviting us to let you in so Father may we heed that call tonight May we not shy away from the one who wants to heal us, 
I'm the one who wants to set us free. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you almost don't want to disrupt this sweet spirit in the room. I'm going to ask you to be seated. I'm going to move into um, this time of activation that Pastor Nathan talked about earlier. You're going to see some people start to bring some things up, and I'm going to move around a little bit. We really just wanted to create a space tonight where we can allow God to move. Thank you. And as I was praying, Pastor David asked me to seek the Lord about tonight and ask the Lord what he would want to do tonight. And I was telling the team beforehand, I, um, whenever I first started to ask the Lord, we get, we get the privilege of planning services a lot, quite often. And so normally how it goes is I'll sit down um, typically at my piano at my house. Uh, the piano was a gift to us. It's one of my most precious possessions now, um, such a blessing to our family. Uh, I say it's a blessing because I, you know, we get to sit there and my kids will come and, and they'll play at the piano. And sometimes that's a blessing. Sometimes it's super annoying. <laughs> but one day that gift and that passion will be refined, you know, and we'll be a YouTube sensation like eight, eight children. Why did I say eight? I have four. Lord, please. No, please. God, please. Oh my Lord. Okay. I have to go pray real quick. I'll be right back. Um, I sat down at that familiar place at the piano bench and my kids were kind of, you know, all around me and it wasn't nearly as beautiful as when Kevin plays. It was more like block chords, you know, just maybe you don't know what that is. It sounds like this. Dom. <laughs> Kevin's is beautiful. Mine is functional. Um, I was like, Lord, what do you want to say? And to be honest with you, I didn't hear anything. I was like, okay, Lord. I'll wait. I'm a man of faith. I can wait. It's like 30 seconds later. I was like, all right, Lord, you ready? <laughs> I didn't hear anything. It took days. It took days. And then one day I, I sat back down at that chair and I asked the Lord, okay, Lord, you know, this night of worship's coming up. I know it's intentional um, that you've asked me to steward this space and Pastor David trusts me with this. I know you want to speak something. And instantly I had this image in my mind. It was an image of a hand um, with a white piece of paper that was folded up. You have white pieces of paper tonight. Could you grab that? There should be some pins in the seat back in front of you. So maybe not enough for every single person to have one, but we're a family, we're a community. We're gonna share those tonight. I saw a hand with that white piece of paper. It was folded up. And the hand was placing that piece of paper um, down onto a, a dark surface, surface. And then dirt was thrown on top of it. And I was like, what in the world? And I thought instantly the word that came to mind was burial. And so I asked the Lord, Lord, do you want to talk about burial? You know, and I was trying to figure out what he wanted to say about that. And instantly the Holy Spirit, so kind, he came and corrected me. He said, not burial, planting. Planting. He started talking to me about the difference. That when we trust him with things, sometimes it feels like burial. But it's never burial with the one who resurrects. It's only planting. And he reserves the right to resurrect in his timing. Tonight in the front of the platform over on the side, our team is so kind and they gathered these big buckets, filled them with soil and gave you a piece of paper and a pen. And the greatest gift we can give you tonight is a little bit of space, some time with God. I just believe that the God of the ages that makes no mistake and does nothing on accident, brought you here tonight. For those that are joining us online, if you'd grab a piece of paper and a pen, uh, maybe you can get some dirt from your backyard or something. If not, you can plant it in faith in the spirit. Put it somewhere away where you know that when you walk away from it, you've given it to the Lord. 
in this room, we have the opportunity to, in these next few moments, we're gonna basically have a little living room set up. We're gonna scale things back a little bit, go back to simplicity, and give you a little bit of space, time with the Lord. And what we'd love nothing, I'd love nothing more than the fact that you could hear God and make an exchange with him. I thought two different categories for this activation we're gonna do tonight. Maybe there's some who in the room tonight are letting go in the sense that they've been holding on to something that God's been asking them, asking you if you would give it to him, but you've been holding on to it, whether that's because of control or whether that's because of past wounds. I even felt, I'm gonna be very sensitive about this, but I even felt that maybe someone here, maybe someone online has lost someone recently. Someone's passed away and it's been hard. It's been hard to fully release them to God. I just feel an invitation today, even if you wrote that name down on that paper. So maybe it's a position at work. Maybe it's something that you're believing for, that you've given to God in prayer. But when you leave the prayer closet, you pick that, you know, that request back up and you carry it out with you again. Just believe tonight's an invitation to fully let it go, to leave it with God. In another category of people, I really envision these little white pieces of paper uh, like a seed. I'm a pretty visual person in my mind, I'm realizing as I get older. It's like in my mind as you write, it's, it's a white piece of paper, I know, but it's like this three-dimensional seed in my mind. You know, maybe it can be that way in yours. And you write something. What do you need from the Lord? Faith, courage, peace. Bring that seed to this soil and plant it in God. There's nothing special about this soil except it's been prayed over. There's nothing special about these barrels except they are going to serve as a vessel for you to have an exchange with God tonight. There's no spades or shovels, and I ask your forgiveness, but I felt like this was on purpose. I feel like we're supposed to get some dirt on our hands tonight. Apologies for all the manicures. Maybe Pastor Nathan can, I'm just kidding. No refunds. Um, no, what I felt was that it would serve as a reminder as we go back to our seats and continue worshiping and lift our hands, that dirt will be a reminder. I've left that with God. I planted that in him. I don't have to pick it up again. And whatever is planted in the Lord, he reserves the right to resurrect it, to bring it to life in his timing. So maybe for all of us, it's actually, you're in both of those categories. It's totally fine. There's two sides of that paper and hopefully enough room for you to be able to whatever the Holy Spirit would bring up. I don't want to limit it to just these categories, but if you need to let go tonight of something, if you need to release something to the Lord, let this be an activation. Let this be a space for you. We're going to continue to worship and we're going to move into this next time. But as we do that, there's um, four barrels on each side of the platform here. And so you're absolutely free. I'm gonna have you in just a moment stand. And when we do that, we're just having you stand so that you can, uh, so it's easier for people to get out of the rows. But if you need to sit back down and, and write, you can definitely do that as well. We wanna create a space for you to have a moment with the Lord here and online as well. So Father, I just pray right now that as we worship you and as we make space for you, this is not a ritual, God, but it is a symbol. It's a symbol that this little white piece of paper bearing things that are close and heavy in our hearts, bearing weights that we've been carrying, and also bearing expectancy, faith and peace and hope and whatever we might need in our lives, healing. Whatever we might need in our lives, as we write that down, on this little white piece of paper, this seed. And as we come in your presence to plant it in the soil, Father, I pray that it would 
be a releasing in our hearts, a letting go so that you can heal us and so that you can show us how faithful you are, how faithful you've been, and how faithful you will be. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we stand together? We're gonna go into this next time and worship together.
all I ever want And if you make the flowers grow You turn the seeds in me You don't forget your promises Seas of trees Ooh. 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 Ooh.
to be where you are. I just want to be where you are. Show me where the ancient path is, God. Where the good way is. Teach me to let go. Teach me to trust you again. You've always been faithful. You've always been faithful. My grandmother and my grandfather taught me you've always been faithful. And I've seen it in my life, Lord. In the darkest times, in the heaviest times, I called on the name of Jesus, the name by which men are saved, and you rescued me, you rescued me. I'll never stop seeing it, I'll never stop seeing it, and whom the sun sets free is free indeed hope the sun sets free is free indeed yeah when the sun sets free is free indeed and i have been set free yeah i have been set free so i'm free indeed I have been set free, I have been set free, and whom the sun sets free, is free indeed. Yeah, I have been set free, oh, I have been set free, and whom the sun sets free. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. So I speak Jesus. And I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus
Come on, let's give him some praise in this place tonight. He's worthy. He alone deserves our praise. Man, he's done so powerful things in the room tonight, and we're going to go back in. We're going to finish with one song, but I feel like the Lord wanted me to challenge you and remind you about a weapon that you have when you leave here. Because God has planted some seeds in your heart and we've done some work at the altar today. And I was reminded of that parable. Jesus talks about the seed that then the enemy comes and tries to steal. And I don't know about you, but I know when God's done something in my heart, when he's spoken to me in a moment of worship, then as soon as I leave, he comes right away to try to steal it. He comes right away to try to lie about his plan and about what he wants to do in our lives. And so I want to remind us that there is power in our praise. See, you have a weapon, and maybe you've never used it before, but your power is in your praise. I want to remind you where Colossians 2 says this. It says, as therefore you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, and he wanted me to change it tonight, as therefore you've received something from the Lord tonight, so walk in him. So leave this place and walk in the truth. So leave this place and walk in what he did in your life. Walk in what he's spoken in your life. Walk what you gave him tonight. Walk with what you planted in the soil tonight. Listen to this, rooted, rooted. Some of you, you gave some things to the Lord and he uprooted some things in your heart. And some of you, you planted some things that he wanted to root deep in your heart. Hope, joy, peace, faith. It says, rooted and built up in him and established in faith as you have been taught. Listen to this, abounding in it with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. See, the power of your praise is when you declare, when you thank God, not based on your circumstances, not based on your situation, but based on the reality of who he is, that there's power in his name, that he's a miracle working God, that he's faithful to move in your midst, even when you don't see it, even when you don't feel it. And so when you leave this place tonight, I'm telling you, the enemy's going to try to lie to you and he's going to try to steal what God did. And I'm saying, praise God. Praise God. Be thankful. Be thankful. Declare the goodness of who God is over your life. Declare the situation. Declare the God, goodness of God over your situation because there is power in your praise when you leave this place. Amen. And so we're going to practice with this last song of you giving your thanks and you giving your praise to the Lord. Amen. Because it is your weapon when you leave this place. Amen. So Lord, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for the things that you've done in our lives, God. And we thank you, thank you, Lord, that there is power in our words, God, that the things that we declare over our lives, our life and truth and destiny and purpose and hope and healing and joy and love. Lord, all the things that you died to give us, Lord, we declare those things over our lives and we thank you for what you did tonight. We thank you for what you're going to do tomorrow. We thank you for what you're going to do next week, next month, next year, because you are a good God and we love you. So come on, let's give some thanks to him tonight. Wanting a place to hide this weary soul This bag of bones I tried with all my might But I just can't win the fight I'm slowly drifting A vagabond Come on, here's the truth
I am free, I am free Hell lost another one, I am free Oh, I am free, I am free Hell lost another one Get up. I was in my house, get up out of there. My son was like, get up, get up, get up. You know, that's what he does every time the song plays. Get up, get up, get up out of that grave. I don't know, something happened. I was like a eight-year-old boy in church again at First Assembly of God in Shreveport, Louisiana. And Teddy Grover was standing on the platform. And I don't know why, I don't know when, but all I know is that he said, he said, when I think of his goodness and what he's done for me, when I think of his goodness, and how he set me free, I'm on a dance, 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 all night. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So that's what happened in my house. But I'm just saying that because it's a little sneak preview because I'm letting you know where we're going. All, all the students here are like, what's that song? That's from church back in the day, back in our day, uphill both ways in the snow, getting to church on a Sunday morning. No, this is a generational praise. When we think of the goodness of God and what he's done for us, I want to encourage you right now in the spirit of order, so we're going to keep order, but we are going to go wild, okay? I just want to release you to praise God like David said. I'll become even more undignified than this. I'll dance in the streets because my God is worthy of a praise that makes me look foolish, but men don't understand. Women don't understand what my God has done for me, what he delivered me out of, that I would be dead if not for my Father in heaven who picked me up out of the miry clay and set my feet on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. So when I think of his goodness, it makes me want to dance, 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 dance. All night. The band was supposed to go with me. We'll get it next time, okay? Say when I think of his goodness and what he's done for me. When I think of his goodness and how he set me free, I want to dance, 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 dance. Somebody dance.
youth pastor anymore can't do this to us come on can we thank our worship team tonight for their leadership i love seeing the kids and the students up here god loves his children he loves you he loves me he's so so good he's such a loving father I hope you enjoy tonight. I'm gonna pray over us and when we release, if you've got time, I know we just had an amazing time in the presence of the Lord. We also have some things out in the lobby. We've got some coffee and some pies. If you wanna hang out and commune with each other, we wanna give some time for some community if you don't have to rush home. But let me pray and seal this night and then you'll be dismissed. Father, we thank you so much. God, I'm just overwhelmed by your goodness, God. You're so good, God, in every moment, in every situation. God, I, I ask that that truth would be rooted deep in our hearts today, that regardless of whether we leave and our situations have changed or whatever, 
Lord, that we would be grounded that you are good and that you do good and that you eternally are good to us because we'll spend eternity with you no matter what life looks like here on earth. So we praise you, we thank you for tonight. Lord, I ask that you would seal the work that you did in our hearts. Seal every work, God, every healing, everything of freedom that you release in this place, God. Every thought of fear and anxiety that was cast out, Lord, we say you must leave and you must stay gone in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this time in your presence. And everybody said, amen, amen, amen. Love you so much. Have a great night. See you next weekend.